what? Black. It makes sense, right? In Chinese communities, when you go to their communities, everybody in there that owns a store or has a business, they're Chinese. Same with the Japanese, same with the, the fake Jews, same with them. They have their own communities. But except, today, like, oh, man, like, you got everything. Exactly. But that's how you know this Bible's real and it's only for us. All right, so you do have enemies. Read that. Keep reading. Keep going. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Okay. For born men and born women. So he said you're going to be sold for slave men and slave women. Were we slaves? Were our ancestors slaves in this country? Right. So the Bible telling you this was prophesied thousands of years ago and it's coming to pass just like it said. That's how we know it's in your book. It doesn't belong to everybody. Go ahead. And no man shall buy you. No man's going to be able to redeem us. That's what it's talking about. No one man's going to be able to redeem us. Only person that's going to redeem us is Jesus the Christ. He's not going to come back as a man. That's why it says no man shall buy you. When Christ comes back, he will come back in all his glory and save us from our oppression. That's what it's talking about. All right, my brother, you, you hear that? That's all. All right, now give me Revelation 1 and 14. I'm glad you're listening, bro. A lot of people like to walk past and want to hear about their history. Good. All praises. All praises. How long? That's what I'm talking about. Hey, look, y'all making me happy with that, with y'all here right now. I'm telling you. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 14. So right now, we're going to go over the description of Christ. Because in church, we were taught one thing. But then when I opened up the Bible, was taught, it says something different. So we're going to clear it up right now. All right? Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it said his head and his hairs were white like wool. When it says his head, it's talking about the, head on, the hair on top of his head. And his hair talking about his beard. All right? Were white. So his, his hair was white. His beard was white. And like what? As white as snow. And so read that part again. Like wool. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It had a woolly texture. You touch the top of your hair right now. That's what wool feels like. We know that. We were taught that. So Christ has woolly textured hair like you. That's why I say y'all making me happy with your hairstyle because it's, it's beautiful. Don't, don't sit there and keep perming your hair trying to look like everybody else. No, your hair is beautiful the way it is. That's right. Like that, The reason why I love my hair is because when my hair grows, it doesn't just grow out and drop. It's not a dead look. When my hair grows, it grows out. Because it's because it, it grows out, it's lively. You have a lively spirit. God made you different and special from everybody else. Keep going. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Keep going. And his feet. His feet right now, y'all. You can see your feet right now. So the, the color of your feet right now doesn't match the rest of your body for the most part. Your arms, your neck, your face. So his feet were like what? Like unto fine brass. And What's the color of brass? Brown, y'all already know. All praises. Go ahead. As if they burn in a furnace. You take that brass and you burn in the furnace, it's going to get real dark. Christ is a dark-skinned man according to this Bible. That's, That's right. right. All right? The pastors don't tell you that. I'm not going to say everybody, but a lot of pastors do not teach that. Why don't they teach that? Because if they teach you that Christ, the, the, the greatest man that ever walked this earth, looks just like you, had the same texture of hair, had the same spirit, what's that going to do to you? If you sit up in a church that loves everybody, it's going to separate you. It's going to make you question things like, hold on. If, if, if Christ looks like me, why would I look at my brother? I hate him. But I reverence the so-called white man or the so-called Arab man or the so-called Chinese man. I put them above me. But Christ looks just like me. So I should love my brother just like I love Christ because he looks just like Christ. You all have the spirit of Christ in you. It just has to be woken up. All right? Now, give, give me this. So you said you've been learning for a little while. What about you? What about y'all? Okay, what about you? So... Let me go through this real quick, bro. So y'all still go to church? So do y'all believe that God loves everybody? So good. I'm glad you said that. So the thing is, what we're out here to teach, we're Israel united in Christ. We teach the Bible, all right? Everything I'm saying, I'm going to go to a verse and prove it. I'm not going to tell you what I think, because what I think will have me in a mess. I can't think for myself. I need the Lord to think for me. Right. That's why he wrote this Bible with instructions, because I can't do it on my own. I'm, I'm slow. Without the look, without the Lord, I'm a slow guy. Right. All right? right. I need this Bible to guide me. Because if I didn't have this Bible, you know what I'd be doing? Sleeping with every woman out here, impregnating them, not taking care of them, doing what I want to do, party all night. Uh, I'll go rob my brother, steal from kill, whatever. According to my own mind. God is against that. That's why I follow him. It keeps me in line for keep keep me out of jail. It keeps me from from uh, from destroying my sisters, treating them like whores. That's what the Bible teaches. Read this. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, 
Jacob have I loved. So Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel, keep going. But Esau have I hated. So it says, I hate Esau. I love the 12 tribes of Israel. He says, I hate Esau. Bring it up. Now, remember, people think that God loves everybody, right? But we just read out the Bible, and I dare anybody get your Bibles up. Hey, anybody out here with a phone, pull out Romans chapter 9, verse 13. We're going to read it again. Hey, so, Y'all right, think God loves everybody? Good, good, okay, good. All praise. Y'all just listen carefully because. Okay, good, good. Listen, listen. Get your phone out. Get your phone out real quick. See, look, listen, listen, look, look, listen. Remember what I said. Without the Bible, because I don't think for myself, I use the Bible. So whatever the Bible says, I'm going to follow the Bible. I'm not going to believe what I believe. So remember that. So when people come up here trying to sway you off your message, you follow what? The Bible or what, man? Give me, give me Acts 5 and 29. Hey, sit right here say, look, Acts 5, 29. We're going to get that real quick. We're going to deal with all these naysayers that, that want to believe what they want to believe. Because believing what you want to believe has you out here dressed half naked in front of all these men. That, that's what I'm saying. We don't want to follow the Bible. I'm going to follow what the Bible says. Acts 5, 29. Hey, tell this out, tell this out, tell this out. Did she say she married? What'd she say? They don't believe in the Bible. and said, we ought to obey God rather than man. God said to obey him and not man. So if God doesn't say that God, that he loves everybody, I'm not going to follow what man says. God said he hates a certain nation. So I'm going to believe what God says. Because we all believe, we all believe that God loves everybody until we open up the book and see that's not, that's not there. Then you... Read Malachi. Read Malachi first. Go to Malachi 4.1. Esau, right? Did that make sense, right? If I had a child, hey, I love this one and that one. But read that again. Verse two. I, I, verse 2. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein has thy loved us? So we ask him, where are you? How are you? How are you showing that you love us, Lord? How are you showing that you love us? Go ahead. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Go ahead. Said the Lord, yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau. He what? And I hated Esau. God said he hated Esau, but go ahead. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Now go to Malachi 3 and 6, because here's the thing. You'll hear that. You'll hear that he hates Esau. But then when we get to the New Testament, they'll say, oh, but in the New Testament, God cleaned that up. He said he loves everybody now. That's what we're taught in church. Right. You know how I know. Hold on, you but you know how I know because I was in church for 28 years. Native American. 28 years I've been documented with God in. loving everybody. Well, let's hear what God said. Remember, he said he hated Esau, right? Read. Verse 6. For I am the Lord. I change not. I am the Lord. I do what? I change not. God does not change. Now we'll go back to Romans. Romans 9 and 13 again. In Malachi, he says, Jacob have I loved. I hate Esau, right? God said he did not change. We're going to go to the New Testament and see if he changed or not. Read it again. 9 and 13. As it is 
went. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Did that change my brother? My brother, did he just say I hated Esau again? Hey, sis. Hey, right here. Come on up. Y'all saw, hey, look, sis with the uh, black. Sis with the black. So tell me where it says, Sis with the black. Y'all nation. She ain't listening. My brother, you stay right here. But you see the confusion, uh, right? Where do you explain it? It's black. We'll read out the Bible that God is not like certain people. They'll hear it and say God is crazy. They don't love God. When you go against the commandments that shows you hate God. When you go against his word, you show you hate God. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.